to me is the ultimate encouragement is that you can work yourself out of any situation. Like the only thing that works is work. Um, I've never ever come across someone that told me, hey, I was going through this difficult time. I went all in and just worked as hard as I could and it got worse. <laughs> like, like it just never happens. If somebody is in a salaried position and feels stuck like in debt and needing a new car or a new house or whatever, but they need their job to make ends meet, how can they work themselves out of that situation when they can't increase their salary, but, and they need their job to pay all the bills that they currently have. Yeah. A lot of times if you talk to your employer and just be honest with them about what's going on, I think you'd be surprised how many times they can creatively, you know, put a scenario in place for you to make extra money. Uh, but if they don't know what you're going through, how are they supposed to help, you know? Um, so in a situation like that, literally like going to your employer and saying, look, like I just got hit with this medical bill or this happened and this happened and this happened and like I really, really need to make some money. Um, you know, there may be overtime opportunities, there may be, you know, may, you know might be side project freelance work that they could come up with or literally it could be as simple as like, hey, like, you know, you can clean the office at night. You know, we have a lady that would pay this much a night and we can have you do it for the next couple of weeks. Uh, or it may be freeing up some more time for you to do some other stuff on your on the side. Uh, but I think having an open conversation and a transparent conversation with your employer about it uh, is never a bad idea. I don't think they're ever going to look at that and be like, oh, she's, you know, going through difficulties. Let's get rid of her now. I mean, that's not ever going to be the end conclusion. Um, but on top of that, it's really looking at your day and auditing your time and figuring out how many of those 5, 10, 15, 20 minute windows at the end of the day add up to multiple hours that you could spend doing something else. And whether it's looking for something else, spending that time trying to find an opportunity to make money on the side or whether it's actually, you know, you do have something on the side that you can pick up and put more work into. But if you look at that window of time from say eight o'clock to midnight, nine o'clock to one in the morning. Uh, there's a lot of time available to do other stuff. Um, but I think doing that in a, um, you know, with integrity would also include talking to the employer as well. Because um, there's a dynamic with a lot of employers and employees where they, where they, where they could feel that, you know, if this person is putting energy towards this, then that means they're taking energy away from what they're getting paid to do. Um, and some people would even take it as far as to end the wee hours of the night. You know, that, that them doing that other thing is taking away their capacity for the main thing. And so I think having those conversations with employers are important um, because they need to know like what your goals are, long term, short term, and to be able to help you kind of navigate through that. And I think the only way you're going to able, the only way you're going to be able to do that is by having that kind of open line of communication that I think most employers want to have. Most employees are scared to have. Um, but there's a lot of people that are currently underpaid just because they've never asked. You know what I mean? Um, never asked for a raise. Never asked for increased responsibility, which would create an environment to where you know that would just work itself out.